After seven months traversing the globe and over 700 games of Rugby Sevens, the World Rugby Seven Series is set to throw its final party of the season. Twickenham again looking a picture in the Sunday morning spring sunshine. Welcome to finals day at the HSBC London Sevens. So much wonderful Rugby Sevens. Quarterfinal number one, Argentina will take on Ireland and then Samoa will take on Great Britain. Fiji, Australia on the other side of the draw, then New Zealand against France. The context here is if Australia win their quarterfinal, they will be automatically qualified for the Paris Olympic Games next year. Turns the corner, gives it to Alvarez. Oh, they're going to get another try here, Argentina. It's Matteo Graziano. Well, they were all looking at Marcos, weren't they? But they weren't looking at Matteo. 6'4", 105 kilos. They didn't lay a hand on him. Captain straightens and steps. And that's a lovely offload to Falanico. And charging away is Motu Opetai. Jamie Barden can't stop him. And Opatai round and under the posts. Oh, and he's panned it <laughs> off to Apelo Malico. We've seen that before. 49 for Apelo Malico. And that one gift trapped with a pretty blue Samoan bow on top. Nanduvalo, so much pace. Oh. Vui Nanduvalo extends Fiji's lead in the cup quarter final. They're edging closer to a win here. Slips through one, and Agua comes at him, Mickelson on the shoulder, and all the veterans combine the experience and the patience, the calm of Tim Mickelson to put New Zealand back in front. Laratra diving for the tap tackle, couldn't get him. Mickelson still got the pace to get all the way round. Off it. Tap and go again, and then the run is coming in the form of Simon diving for the line. Once the New Zealanders out of his way, he's got to kick this to tie it up and send it to Golden Point. Did he just time out? He took too long and he won't get the chance to kick it. Back underway. Oh, brilliant again in the air. This time it's Richard and away goes Alex Russell streaking towards the corner. It's a perfect start after half time for Canada and Alex Russell. Well, how about that? This kickoff came down with a bit of snow in it, even in the summertime here in England. What a take from Richard. Okoff, a little one two oh, nice. with Amondi. Now Otieno. Alvin Otieno puts the head down. Here he goes. On the chase is Alvarez, but he won't catch him. The big buffer runs it in for Kenya. Kenya corners on its feet, and they're back in the mix. Oh, great hit. Johnson or Lindy's put on the deck. He's hit hard. Kenya, they got five players around that breakdown. Uruguay thought they had it, but they could tap this and kick it off the field. They're going to try and kick the points to finish the game, and they do so. And it is enough to get through on points difference. Heartbreak, heartbreak for Los Terros. and playing always, beating always in the semi-final and I hope do the same this tournament but it's not easy against teams like Samoa playing for, for to go to the Olympics. Well, it's a good tackle from your man Pellandini there. For now, we'll leave you to it, Santi. Samoa are going to strike first here. It's Tanu Niolavea who gifts another one to Maliko who puts it down under the posts. Sets up the breakdown, ball's loose again. It's been a bit messy in that area for Argentina, but they've got another penalty here. Los Pumas sevens. Tobias Wade, they just got to put it through the hands. Alvarez scores. Argentina take the lead in the cup semi-final. And that one's slapped down now and again. It breaks for Fiji and then a chance to break out here. Satoranga, Collier coming out and Carter rounding on upon him as well. The offload is brilliant as is the footwork by Samoa, by Samoa for the post. And he goes in. Deep
deep into extra time in the first half. Get up, wave those flags. Is that is special for Fiji. The crowd roaring. New Zealand stretched. Nanduvalo, the offline knuckles and raises his feet. The pickup's unbelievable. The tackle's outstanding as well. Mickelson can't quite steal it for New Zealand. Penalty. Run the gates. And away go Fiji, Nanduvalo. He crashes over. Clock is red. Final play of the bronze medal decider. Now Samoa steal it. Bananico hands it oh. on the plate for Neo Nevaya. Taunu! Neo Nevaya! <laughs> glory! Glory for Samoa! This proud rugby nation have sacked the All Black Sevens. Through the hands for Odiambo, they've created some nice space here for Oyo, the captain. A little in and away, he's turned Richard inside out, and this is the first strike in the playoff series decider. It comes in the form of Kenya's captain, Nelson Oyo. Well, they've struck, and they look hot. Here's Canada, and Brock Webster cuts up through the middle, trying to accelerate away, needs some support. It comes in the form of Mora. He's still got Webster on the inside. Webster being chased. Otieno just drags him down. Up to the 22, yeah, and this could be... I was going to say, thoughts stolen away then for a moment. Canada must have numbers. Huge numbers for Berner. And then on the outside, Alex Russell for the corner. And with a minute to go, Canada go in front. And it's Alex Russell. That's what they're playing for. The HSBC London Sevens Cup trophy. Fiji against Argentina. 199 days and just under 500 games after the Men's Sevens World Series started back in Hong Kong in November. It's Argentina Fiji in the last cup final of the 2023 season. One final game to bring you. Salturanga. Salturanga did him with the eyes. Felipe Salturanga. Scores first in the London Cup final. He's a magician. Gonzalez. He's hit hard on the floor, legs lifted high. This could be bad news. Possession is everything now when you're playing down a player. They're going to chip through here. It's Salteranga. No one in behind. It sits up for him. Salteranga. Sensational. His second try of the final. The conversion will level this one up. Iskadol's going to kick for Moneta. Now it's a foot race. Look at Marcos Moneta go. He is so quick. It sits up for him. He offloads to Iskadol. And that is just rugby sevens from another planet from Argentina. Inside Alvarez. Schultz. Inside ball. Moneta, and that is number 100 for Marcos Moneta all time. And it's the try that will complete the victory here in London. Okay, now here's how the men's 2023 final standings have finished. New Zealand 200 points with their five gold medals. They wrapped that up last week. Argentina there, secure in second. Fiji third. Those three teams will be going to the Paris Olympic Games, along with France and Australia, who left it late. But Australia confirmed as automatic Olympic qualifiers. The likes of Samoa, South Africa, Ireland, GB, all the way down. They're all going to have to go to their regional qualifiers to qualify for Paris. Canada beat Kenya in the playoff final, and Canada will be a core nation in season 2024. And let's not forget the series as a whole. New Zealand have been absolutely outstanding. They won and to lose last week, their fifth cup title. Vamos Los Pumas, HSBC London Sevens champions. The All Black Sevens, HSBC World Rugby Seven Series champions.